Hello and welcome to another episode on photosynthesis. Today we're going to talk about the stroma and the Calvin cycle. If you remember from the last time we talked about the light dependent parts of photosynthesis, the Calvin cycle is the light independent part of photosynthesis. That means that there is no light needed for the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle basically starts off with five carbons. As you can see in the picture, there are five C's. They stand for five carbons, and another carbon dioxide comes in from outside. The two oxygens leave, and they're given off as waste, and now we have a six-carbon molecule. However, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at this thing here. It's not stable. It's going all over the place. It's going crazy. Something might happen. Oh my gosh, we got to be careful here, and we got to split them up. Notice here the six carbon molecule splits up into two three carbon molecules. The two three carbon molecules are much more stable, and we call it carbon fixation. Carbon fixation means that we have fixed the problem of the unstable carbon, so now they are stable again. They're not moving around. They're not going crazy because we don't like crazy carbon. There's nothing worse than crazy carbon. The next thing that happens, of course, is the ATP comes in from that light-dependent part that we learned about in the last video. And in the ATP, of course, hits, and when it hits, you notice it's giving off its P, that's not a euphemism. The giving off its P, and it turns into ADP. It goes from ATP and turns into ADP because it is given off its P. They leave, and then we the N, our old friend the NADPH comes in and gives off some of its H's, its hydrogen ions, and one of the three carbons likes where it is. The other one leaves. Let me ref, let me say that again. This is important. One of those carbons leaves. The other one stays. Eventually, another carbon comes in in the same way, and they come together to form a glucose, which is a fancy name for sugar. These sugars, in turn, are used to help the cell grow, and it helps the leaves and all of that stuff in the plant to grow and form structure. And that is basically a brief introduction to the Calvin cycle.